you're going to vinyl wrap the top of the <coughs> excuse me GLI. And obviously it rained last night after I clay barred the roof. Yesterday I clay barred the roof. I uh, didn't feel like I needed to show that because that is it's basic. So clay bar your roof, make sure it's nice and clean. Um, I don't have a garage space to do it, which is preferably, but there's like little, to, uh, there's no wind, no breeze or anything going right now, so I'm not really worried too much about contaminants, but what I will, blowing around in the wind, what I am worried about is water. So obviously it rained last night and condensation and dew in the morning. The car is completely wet, so I am going to have to wipe it down, um, clean it again, and then do uh, hit it with alcohol and all the crevices to make sure it's perfectly clean and perfectly dry. Um, from what I've seen when you do this, obviously you want everything around the roof to be clean because the film will be bigger than the roof and it needs to the overhang you don't want to pick up any dirt and transfer it to underneath the wrap so what we're going to do we're going to clean the top and come down about a few inches that way when we work it in this area here we don't have anything um out of the ordinary um get trapped up in there like dirt and anything like that yesterday i went i cleaned inside the sunroof area on the metal it was really really dirty so as a general cleaning tip, clean inside your sunroofs. Um, wind deflector. When you go to wrap, retract your sunroof and get like a clamp for your wind deflector. So keep it down and out of your way. And you just want to make sure inside all your little valleys here are really, really clean as much as humanly possible. Now we don't have trim on the side of these cars, so I do have knifeless tape that will run down this channel on both sides and use that to make our cut line and then when we come back here we'll just use excess and tuck in so it'll look like one big panoramic roof with the spoiler on the end so we'll see how that goes and let's get uh let's get to it oh i do have to go to the store i need to get to grab a couple of microfibers and probably um, I could probably use instant detailer. A lot of people use like soapy water, stuff like that, so that the squeegee glides along the wrap so you don't scratch it because it is gloss black. You don't want to be just scratching everything. So I go and have to run and grab a pack of those. Also, if you've been using your felt, go just switch to a new one. So I'm going to take this one off and run a new one just for this process. I'll have some more lens smoke left over. This was the clay bar. The mother's kit was pretty good. Uh, it came, comes with three clay bars, a quick detailer, or instant detailer rather, and a um, microfiber. But I need more because that one, I mean, technically, I could do that. But I'm going to be using them to clean periodically. So I'm just going to go get a pack of three. Okay. Not talking. Not talking. This clip is long enough. Let's go to the store. If you have a sunroof, um, you'll find that trying to keep down the wind deflector is a little bit more of a pain. Most have them come down here where you could just put a clamp. Ours flips up at the front and there's like this extra gap here. I just used my Mark IV radio removal tools and shoved them in on the edges right there to hold it down. Make sure you clean in this area here and underneath. I tried to get to it as clean as, as much as possible. What we need to do now is also take off the antenna slash shark fin. So for that, we have to go inside the car. Hopefully, hopefully we can get to it from the dome light, but I'm not 100% sure. We might be able to, from what I see. It should be close. You see it's right there, and then the light is a little bit forward. So if I pop off the light housing, I should be able to 
reach the nut holding that on. So let me get a trim removal tool and pry it apart. Okay, so after getting the rear light out, which I should turn off, um, I cannot get to the nut because there is foam from the headliner there and I don't want to pull down too hard to crease anything. So we'll see about popping it down on the rear section here. Um, hopefully we don't have to take out, which it looks like we might, the C-pillars, which is just going to be more of a pain. I'm going to see if I can pull, pop this down and get to it because I don't feel any way to get past it here. I've chosen to just reach up here and just pull down and I pop three tabs out. Now the sound it makes, the sound it makes when you're grabbing here, it's it's cringy because it's just like you hear the cardboard like crushing. But you just reach in and then you actually feel where the tabs are and just yank down. And then you can see it. I mean, you can't see it. You can, should be able to feel it. So I think I have enough space to get my hand in here, find the nut, and undo it for the shark fin. I reach up there, try to get a socket up there. Wasn't even tight. Wasn't even tight. <laughs> Literally just used the socket and moved it with my hand. There you go. There you go. Okay, so I'll get up under there, disconnect it. If yours, well, you won't know, but you can reach it. You can't really tell from the headliner. I pulled it down created a little crease but it's in the back of the car no huge deal you can get it once you get past the styrofoam here this hard foam or you reach it from the back you can just pull it down with your head all the way in the back like this you'll be able to peek and see the nut it's it's right there it's pretty close a regular sized ratchet if you shove your whole hand in there will do it I used I will I was gonna use a torque wrench which is a little bit longer but I didn't need it I just put the socket on it to make sure that was the right size, which was a 7 8 by the way. And the nut was already loose. So, what I need to do now is get to the wiring and then disconnect that so I could take it out completely. So, let me attempt. There's three plugs, green, pink, blue. They have another clamp on top of them that keeps the connectors together. They're color-coded, so there's no wrong way to connect them or disconnect them. I mean, connect them. But you do have to get three, get three of them. It's a little bit tricky not being able to see, but on the back of the connector is a small little tab that you just pull, press, and pull. As you can see, that green piece in there, I think you can see it. It's still on the, on the connector. That's why it's it's too big for me to pull out. Success. Whew. It was more of a hassle than I ever would have thought. Well, let's not waste no time. Just get back in here, clean it up. You can see the marks from it. Hit it with alcohol. We'll alcohol the whole roof, the whole area, and then we'll start laying out the vinyl. Laying down the knifeless tape in the galley. I'm trying to get it straight as much as possible. I don't know. I think with it being there, I don't think it'll be a huge, huge deal if it's not. Obviously, it's not going to be perfectly straight because the roof is rounded. But I'm trying to get it just down in the the valley there. So then when we make our cut line, our cut line is in there, not too far up or not too far over. Surface is prepped, knife edge tape, knifeless tape is down. A uh, tip I saw in the video is like, after you lay your knifeless tape down, run alcohol over the top of it just to clean it as well because there could be oils and stuff like that. So you don't want anything, anything under the wrap. This is like I just saw like a drop of water or something. I don't know where that came from. 
I'll wipe it down. Alcohol soaked rag. Clean it off. Oh, it's not water. It's just a spot. So you just run your alcohol right over the top of it. And then it's now to get your vinyl. <laughs> Five foot by six foot piece is more than enough for a Jetta roof. I'm going to now undo the backing paper, actually blow off the top of this, make sure there's no loose debris that can get caught by any like static electricity. And then we'll undo the backing paper and try and glass it out. And then if we're lucky, we can glass it out without having to take off the protective cap. But if you have to take the protective cap off later for stretching, then so be it. So, let's do it.
after a little bit of a fight the front is starting to go down good a little piece of glue I don't know what happened here but I can't get it off when I tried to peel it back but the rest of it is going down pretty smooth the front I'm doing first and then I'll try my best to work my way from the middle out obviously to get everything pretty good but so far so far I'm happy so far I'm happy so let's keep plugging away working hard um, damn, excuse me. Whew, working hard um, I would highly suggest doing this in a garage or if you're gonna use vivid vivid has a high tack which this vinyl is very very sticky um, use tack releaser um, I think next time I go with a brand I might go with like Avery which is not so sticky because laying it down in the heat and then it's pretty much activating the adhesive which oh, man but the roof is pretty much smooth a couple stuff here and there a little bit of air pockets here that I might need to rub out I'm not gonna pull the vinyl back up just for those little things I'm really not um, so now we'll come our, I'll go around and I'll trim and then tuck in where I need to tuck in use a knifeless tape and then post heat and hopefully we'll have a acceptable outcome I forgot to pick up the camera but anyway knife knifeless tape line is pretty good I've heated and wedged the front part up underneath the glass and then cut so as you can see the line is pretty good here I'm happy with it so far I don't like this glue I never noticed it before there's like a glue line all the way across the top that looks stupid I think I'm gonna probably do like a black vinyl strip or something to cover that I, I, I just noticed that and I hate it it looks crazy but I'm gonna continue on with the other side and then the back and then we'll be done I can't leave the camera out in the Sun because obviously it'll get too hot guys the updates rear windshield or rear window tucked in sides trimmed I mean how could you not how could you not how could you not like it oh my god I don't know I don't normally get so excited but this is now granted the blend the vinyl might not be the super best quality or whatever I'm pretty sure this is vivid's crap that they send but now I know what it looks like if I ever wanted to you know I can practice or get it professionally done with some super glossy stuff this just looks I don't know I like it okay so we have to just cut a little hole for the shark fin do the sunroof and then we're done man it's hot out here we're done boys I mean ladies and gentlemen you know what I mean all I have to do now is put back the shark fin and we're good post heated already I think it came out really really well for my first roof wrap I just I mean I like it so much I think it just ties in well Hold on, let me close the other doors and see if it darkens up just like the overall look hold on boy <laughs> look at that nicely done nicely done might be time to tint the windshield I mean you didn't hear that from me because that's illegal but you know what I mean yeah not good a little trimming I don't know how I do that I don't want to run a blade on the paint but this came out good I think it came out really, really good. All right, let me put the shark fin in, tighten that back up, get the interior back together, and call it a wrap. 
shark fins back in. You don't want to wrench down. Now mine was wasn't even tight to begin with, but you don't want to wrench down because you can pull your roof down and cause a dent, which nobody wants. And there it is. I think it looks great. Absolutely love it. I've always, always wanted to have a car with a tuxedo top. Now, I have one, and I wrapped it myself. Whew. Feels good. I'm learning, I'm learning. I've asked a couple people to see if they could teach me, and nobody was like, yeah, I don't know. All right, cool, that's fine. I'll teach myself, it's perfectly fine. Learn on that, wrap that. I'll get some vinyl, and we'll wrap this. This should be fairly easy. Like I said before in the last video, the panels are kind of not really super huge except this body one, but it doesn't go all the way down and around, so it shouldn't be that hard to um, glass out and wrap. No big, gigantic, swooping curves and stuff. Maybe the front bumper, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, I'm not going to do it today because we have some people coming over, but maybe tomorrow in the morning or later on this evening. I'll de-badge the Tiguan. Might not make a video out of that because that makes no sense. Or maybe a small one redoing the the rear quarter windows because I have the vinyl for that. And doing the uh, badge delete. So, if you like the content, hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing. Helps me out in a big way. And, yeah man, we'll see you guys next time in the garage. Peace.